Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today I got a quick little video showing you how to install Skype 5.0 on Linux Mint. And actually, this is going to work for pretty much any Ubuntu-based distribution. So Ubuntu, Zubuntu, uh, you know, Peppermint OS. I mean, they're just you know all those that are based on Ubuntu. This will work for. Now, in the official repositories Skype is available uh, and you know I'm on Linux Mint here so let's pull up our software center um, there we go software manager uh, I cannot type this morning give it a second here there we go so you can go to your software center type in Skype and you will see Skype is available but if you scroll down to version number it is still the 4.3 version so, you know, eh, while it's functional, it definitely does not have all the new features that are available in the 5.0 version. Um, whereas the older 4.3 version, it is a Qt-based desktop application. Basically, what they've done uh, in 5.0, it is they've taken the web, the web-based, cloud-based, whatever you want to call it, application put it in a desktop wrapper so that you can use it on your desktop um, and uh, you know I'll be upfront that I am I am not much of a Skype user but you know talking to other people that use it a lot they are really really liking the improvements that have been made uh, uh, with this version 5.0 so um, since you can't get the uh, since you can't get the newer version through the repositories I'm going to show you how to do it uh, right from the Skype website it's real easy to download the file and install it so let's do that now let me go and I got Chrome open over here and uh, we'll just put it in the middle there see I'm on the Skype website and if you go there and go to the downloads page, you can just go where it's right here. It says download Skype. We're going to use it on the computer. And so anybody that is using a Ubuntu based distribution, if you go and click this download Skype for Linux Deb, it is going to download a Debian file and you'll install it that way. So let's go and click that. And yes, we want to save that to our downloads file or downloads folder. Give it a minute to download. And let me go and drag that back out of the way. Don't really need it now. Okay. And go to my downloads folder here so you can see it. And you can see right here, Skype for Linux 64.deb that we just downloaded. So let's right click it. And we're going to open it with the GW package installer. I'll close that up. I don't really need that now. Okay, and we'll click the install package button, put in our password. and allow it to install. Just sit back and wait. And I'm going to grab a little coffee while it does that. Okay, installation finished. Close this up. So now you can go to your menu and it will be there just type in Skype and you can see right there Skype for Linux and yes if this is quote unquote the beta version um, but 
you know that is an improvement over the old version of Skype for Linux which was the an alpha version um, and you know from this point on you know put in your uh, put in your Skype name log in boom you're ready to go um, you know nothing more needs to be done as far as installation goes so as far as installing it you know that's really all I got to say um, I will tell you all that um, I've been kind of looking at some alternatives to Skype for Linux users because I know there's a lot of Linux users out there oh they don't want to do deal have to deal with the, the big bad uh, Microsoft and now that's and you know Skype is owned by Microsoft don't want to use it okay so I, I get that um, at the same time there's a lot of people out there um, who for business needs whatever they have to use Skype for their work so you're kind of stuck with it but there are alternatives to Skype and I've kind of been looking at some of them and let me drag Chrome over here again so we we're just looking at Skype <clears throat> so these are some of the different ones that I've been looking at recent recently and I'm gonna start trying some of these and I'll probably do some videos on them uh, and you know for those of you out there that know of another alternative that I am not putting up here you know leave a uh, leave a um, something down below you know a little description of what what you what you've used or the link or whatever and uh, I'll take a look at it also uh, anyway there's uh, this Jitsi that I've been looking at uh, ring I think really shows promise um, Tox does as well uh, appear I, I've, I've actually used this one seems to be pretty good um, and like I said there's probably some others out there um, I just uh, you know I haven't found them yet so anyway if you know of some other Skype alternatives out there for Linux users please let me know about it and uh, like I said uh, probably on some of these I will start doing some videos on you know hey here's the pluses and minus of it uh, um, you know if you just want to get away from Skype or you know whatever the reason is uh, you know here's some alternatives anyway that about finishes this video up I uh, hope it helped you out as always comments questions all that kind of stuff leave it down below I'll try to get to it as soon as possible if you are not a subscriber please subscribe and I hope to see you all on my next video thanks a lot